Hey, what's going on guys? Aaron here. Welcome to the video. So we got some big news today. VanX head of digital research talking about what he thinks the future of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining will be. And this does relate to those of us in Celsius. Also, a little bit of news about Kamala possibly promoting Gary Gensler if she gets nominated. And also the 2024 Democratic Party platform today, or I think yesterday or today, they came out with their massive 91 page or so document about their plan. And let's talk about what's in it related to crypto and Bitcoin, you may be surprised. So starting out right here, we have this guy, Matthew Siegel, VanX head of digital asset research, and just want to play a little bit talking about what he thinks the future of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining will be. There are four sellers in the market. The German government has sold all of its Bitcoin, $2 billion worth. The U.S. government is selling Silk Road related coins. There are two major bankruptcies where creditors have just been paid out. That's Mt. Gox and Genesis. So with all this for selling behind us, and w this is a typical seasonal pattern where Bitcoin tends to struggle in the kind of one to three months after the halving, which was in April, and right pre-election, as the market comes to grips uh, with whatever candidate wins, we're in for four more years of reckless fiscal policy. The, the history is that Bitcoin really hits its stride at that point. So we're, we're buyers here. We think it recovers. So he mentions after the halving and the green line here, this is the current halving cycle that we're on right now. And this orange line is the halving cycle that happened in 2020. So four years ago. So right now we are trending below where we were in 2020. But there is some time after the halving where it's historically pretty boring. And even looking at what happened in 2020, basically until 150 days after the halving that happened in 2020, the price was pretty boring. I mean, the price went up about 1.23x. And then from day 150 to day 250 or 350 or so, obviously we saw the price absolutely go bananas. So that's what he's referring to. And I'll cover that a little bit later in the video as well. How do you connect those dots simply simply about the AI trade versus the Bitcoin miners? The data center companies are trading at north of 30 times, $30 million per megawatt of electrical capacity that they control. $30 million. The Bitcoin miners are trading at $3 million. Now, it's not a complete one for one transition. They need to find customers. They need to buy the GPUs or have it, someone else buy the GPUs and install them. But there is an enormous arbitrage. And the companies that have been most aggressive on this year to date, Core Scientific, Terra Wolf, Iris Energy, those are the stocks that have outperformed. We just had another one after the bell at 4 p.m. today, uh, BTBT, $700 million AI deal. Our hunch is that as more of these Bitcoin miners make these announcements, those will be the stocks that outperform because it brings their cost of capital down. So what he's talking about is directly correlated to what Mike Cagney and Mike Abate over at Figure are wanting possibly for Ionic Digital, those of us that were in the Celsius bankruptcy, are wanting Ionic to transition into basically an AI focused company. He gave some examples of TerraWolf, Iris, and also Core Scientific. And when they made their move or began to diversify into AI, the price of their stock really, really went up. So this is connected to possibly what we'll see with Ionic Digital. Too soon to tell on that. If you're an Ionic Digital shareholder, you do want to go ahead and pledge your shares, or at least I would if I were you. I'll leave that information below. We want to get to a threshold of 25%. I think we're about halfway there. And then we can force a shareholder meeting. So if you haven't done that, you can go ahead and do so. So before I head into Kamala Harris, possibly nominating Gary Gensler, and also going through the 2024 Democratic Party platform, which covers all sorts of different topics. I first want to take a look at this specific chart, link below if you'd like to get a discount on Into the Cryptoverse, so you can get all of these charts, including ones here like DCA strategies and also exit strategies. So when it would be an appropriate time possibly to take some profits. So a lot of good stuff inside this website. But I wanna talk about this year to date ROI. There's a lot of people that are feeling pretty bored about what's happening with the price of Bitcoin specifically. And I wanna take a look at 2016 right here and then overlay it with four years ago, 2020. So that would be this red line. And this year, 2024. So this is 
Bitcoin year to date ROI. So the beginning of 2016, 2020, and 2024. So here we are right here. We are essentially touching what we saw in 2016. And we are a little bit below the ROI for 2020, but we're still in the ballpark. So what we're experiencing this year is very normal in terms of boring sideways movement because the last two halving cycles or the last two years of the halving, we are trending very closely to those previous years. We can see at the end of the year what happened to Bitcoin in 2016. So it ended up doing a 2.2x and 2020, it was at a 4x. And again, right now we are trending right in between 2016 and 2020. So what we're seeing right now, the boring sideways, choppy movement, and it seems like nothing's happening and this is super boring. This is very, very normal for these years. So I just wanted to give you that perspective. Here we have Kamala Harris likely to nominate Gary Gensler as Treasury Secretary if elected and Representative Tom Emmer out of Minnesota said that Gary has been bringing lawsuits all over the place and losing all over the place. Gary needs to move on. His career in government should be over. So a lot of people in the crypto space are really, really, really worried about this for good reason. Gary, even though he taught at MIT and he's very knowledgeable about Bitcoin and cryptos and all sorts of stuff, he has not been a friend to crypto companies, to self-custody, to freedom, essentially, a lot of people could argue. So right here, this came out, I think today or yesterday, 2024 Democratic Party platform. So I'm like, cool, let me search this for crypto because they have to talk about crypto. Oh, shoot, nothing. Zero out of zero. Didn't talk about crypto. Okay, how about Bitcoin, right? Because I really, oh, shoot, <laughs> zero, zero. Didn't talk about Bitcoin. They talked about all of these other topics, including the economy, including housing, corporate greed, right? Environmental stuff, protecting communities, strengthening democracy, all sorts of different topics. And they even talked about artificial intelligence. So that whole section, seizing the promise and managing the risks of AI, but no talk about crypto, zero. Bitcoin, zero. Blockchain, zero. And that says a lot. That says a lot about them not even wanting to face this head on, where they have been anti-crypto. And it is concerning, especially if you have a lot of money or if you want to see the price of Bitcoin and different cryptos go up. If Kamala wins, I don't think it's going to be very good short term. I think at the end of the day, well, I know at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's in office. It really doesn't matter, right? Because we know what's happening in the global scheme of liquidity and money printing, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to go into that. But short term, I think it's going to be rough. I think it's going to be rough, but then we'll bounce back. At least that's my prediction, but you never know. So guys, that is it for the video. Hope you guys are doing well. Right here are the Tangem hardware wallet cards. If you are in need of a hardware wallet, I'll include my affiliate link to Tangem below, including Ledger, which I still like, even though there was some drama last year about it. And also, if you are preparing for next year's taxes and you're like, I would really like a competent crypto CPA to take care of my taxes, and I'm willing to spend some money to do so, I will include Laura her information or her company, Crypto Tax Girl, where she has many CPAs and accountants working with her. And they are awesome when it comes to handling everything regarding crypto taxes. I use them on my taxes this year and I loved their service. So I'll include their information for you guys as well. Hope you guys are well. Till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.